Okay, so obviously painting this shirt would be a pain. Over and over again until I get it all uniformed, it would take many, many brush strokes. I don't like doing that. So in here, what I want to do is trick out the UVs. So I'm going to lower it, go down and look at my UV options. In my UVs, I have UV tile, okay, which will take every one of these and lay it out onto a block formation and take up the entire UV space. So that means if I have a tileable texture mounted in that area, it will tile across perfectly across each face and then blend to each face. To show you what this is, let's choose 2048 in UV tile. And then what I want to do is take, just make sure that this is on one for one. Always make sure your repeats on one. I don't know why it would change, but just make sure that's on one. So I, I got my tileable texture here that I made. There we go. So what I could do now is take this, up the divisions quite a bit, go back down here, and choose colors from texture. This will hard mount it from the texture and it will also make it so it blends rather well. Remember, uh, the poly paint has a lower resolution than the actual texture does. So if you kind of use that philosophy, you can hide a lot of the flaws that are between values of the faces. Okay, so now it doesn't look so bad, does it? Okay, that being done, now, if I wanted to make a new uh, texture based upon a different UVs, I would do that. So I wouldn't leave it at UV tiles. That's for sure. What I would probably do for the shirt is lower it down and then assign it new UVs. This time, I'm going to choose AUV tiles. Make it big again. Go up here, make a new texture. The reason I use AUV tiles now, well, basically they hold the resolution a little bit better. I still don't like them. I would say, you know, learn Blender. Make some professional model. But you could still use the UV tile feature in here to do the same little trick. Okay. This time, what I want to do is new from polypaint. Mount this in here. New from polypaint. And there we go. There's my texture all laid out in a nice UV space with all the rich detail. Alright, now, wouldn't it be nice if we could bump this up? That's in the next video.